Hello, hello friends. Uh, in my current tutorial, I will talk about uh, how to add a user in Linux and how to add a user with this feature that uh, the user is, you know, uh, uh, forced to uh, change the password right after the login. So we'll have uh, we'll see a few examples uh, with uh, different kind of features that will provide to the user. So we we all know that. Uh, to add a user in Linux, there is a command called user add, using which you can add the user. But we we are trying to uh, make some specific. Uh, we, can, we are trying to create some specific user. Like the user uh, should be, uh, you must be prompt to uh, change the password the moment he logs in for the first time. Okay, so uh, let's say I'll create a de uh, demo user, user add demo. Okay. And then uh, I'll give him some directory. It's optional. I mean, it's, uh, it's up to you whether you want to give a directory or not. So try, let's just see the help on user add. <coughs> so if you see, this is how a user is added in uh, in Linux. Okay. So fine uh, i'll just check the help of this command and we'll try to understand what it does okay <coughs> yeah so you see uh, there is a command called minus t option to set the home directory of the user so if i simply give a user add and then the user name so let's say demo demo usr and then if i give minus t and then I, I let's specify some home directory to the user demo usr okay so if the directory is not there it will create that directory and it will assign that directory as a home directory for that particular user okay the next is that you can assign like you can assign okay like uh, a shell that you want to give or if you want you can uh, assign a uid also for the user so uh, we'll not go all, all, all those things okay so the, the username and then the user uh, in the home directory that you want to do okay so we are creating the user so user is created now if you just do id and then demo usr so it will say that uh, by default it will be given a user id which is 1002 and it will also be given a group id okay and if you see this uh, is this detail is also added in your etc password file okay so demo usr if you search this id in your etc password file you should be able to find it okay you see this is my username and this is the the link to the encrypted password and these are the user id and the group id and this is the one is the home directory of the user okay fine so so far we have created the user but uh, by by uh, we, uh, i mean currently the user will not be able to uh, log in because the account is locked we have to set the password for the user so to set the password for user you have to first of all be admin to do all these things so you have to run this command password and then the username to set a password for the user so the first time it will ask for a new password so let's say demo one two three okay so just give a password one two three okay so the password is updated now the user can log in so if i simply uh, create a user like this and if the user demo user tries to log in he will uh, not be prompted uh, to change his password and and the admin uh, of course uh, will be able to uh, log in with that id um, because he knows the password okay so uh, always it is a safe practice to uh, allow the user at the first login itself to change the password right after first login okay uh, so that it will be secure and he only will know his password okay so for to do that there is a command called ch age okay fine so if you just want to see more details about this just do ch age 
so what it does is it changes the user password expiry information okay so what we'll do is we'll set the password expiry so that the password uh, will be treated as expired and the user will be prompted the user will be forced to to uh, change the password okay so this is the one way the other benefit is that you can change the, set the expiry date to let's say 30 days okay in that case the user will be uh, prompted to change the password in 30 days okay so what we'll do is here we'll change we'll set the expiry date to zero okay for the user called demo user so if i do like this the password for user is expired for now as per this command okay so if the user now tries to log in okay uh, user now tries to log in okay so he will be prompted to change the password okay so we'll just try to connect it from my host system which is a windows system okay so if i try to log in with a newly created um, user so username is demo user and then the password is demo123 which we gave at the time of the creation of the user if i do this so you see <coughs> What is saying that user password expired? You must change the password now and log in again. So, this uh, user demo user should change the password before going further. So, you have to enter the current password which was given at the time of creation and then you specify a new password. Okay, so let's say demo. Okay, so something we can specify. So now the moment you change the password the session will go off okay and then you can open it one more time with the password which is updated by the user so demo usr okay so let's just uh, increase the font okay so make it look even better okay yeah so demo usr and then the password that we gave newly you have to enter that okay so this is how you can create a user with uh, with a prompt that we have to change the password okay so this is a, a new technique i mean this is the way you can secure your new user even more okay so now it's saying that the home directory is not there home demo usr okay so uh, i think there is an option to include a directory if it is not there so while creating the uh, user if you are giving him a directory like home demo user so i think that should be present okay so if we see this option called minus d home directory home directory of the new account okay fine um, so so this is how you can create because if i go to home um, yeah so here if you see i don't have the directory uh, demo users so that's why it is not able to uh, create a to change to that directory which is what is showing here okay so that's all in this tutorial uh, we'll come back with another features other techniques other um, tools in linux and uh, thanks for watching bye bye